Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen on a Clue, the Clay's Amazing Space Comedy Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are in the rock full of brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space, where we're trying to get 16 duplicates into the future as comfortably as possible, and being stung by bees is not a way to do that. Thankfully, people will be coming along to save Ashandra there, so that is good. And another thing, another thing that has not been very comfortable, I've got to tell you, I've been sat down, I've been doing some mathematics, this is not going to work right here. Last time we actually managed to come through and get ourselves a, uh, a an aluminium volcano. We tamed it. We tried to make it as uh, as beautiful and self-contained as possible. But I've been doing the mathematics, and let me take you through just a little bit of horrors here. If we had a look at the aluminium, we can see that it has a specific heat capacity of 0 0.901. If we take that and then also the output of the aluminium volcano, don't worry, I'm going to walk you through this step by step. Uh, the aluminium volcano will output for 36 seconds uh, 1,210 grams per, per second at 1,726 degrees. Uh, let's call it 27. Uh, and times all of that by the 0 0.9 and, and you get how many DTUs are being entered into the system here. Uh, and there's a big number. It's 69.5 million DTUs. 69.5 million. That is a huge number. One that I'm not sure that we can actually deal with. Because if we then actually have a look at the steam uh, and look at its properties, the, the only one we really need to worry about is the fact that we've got a specific heat, heat capacity of 4.9. That's how much energy, how many DTUs you need to warm up one gram by one centigrade and um, thankfully by one degree centigrade and thankfully that's a, that's some nice round mathematics so if we take the 69 and a half divided by the 4.149 uh, we want to not raise this temperature by any more than 100 degrees so we need to divide it by that as well of course the steam turbines will bring this down to 150 and then the auto sweeper like ideally we don't want to go in above 250 so that gives us a range of 100 degrees uh, and uh, there's about 44 tiles here we make some aluminium we've got some extra tiles over here I'm gonna say it's about 44 tiles uh, so uh, dividing all of our 69 and a half million by all those numbers uh, we end up realizing that we need about 3.7 kilos in each uh, each tile here I don't have 3.7 kilos in each tile we've got six point uh, six six hundred grams that that's 0.6 kilos we, we need to increase the amount of water we've got here and there's a, an awful lot of water down here water that i keep saying in fact that i need to empty out that there is too much water in this pipe here this li this line of water at the top here i'd really like to get rid of uh, so we're, just, we're literally just gonna pump it out of here i'm just gonna just rip this out of here we're gonna we're gonna throw down some gold wire i'm gonna throw in a little bit of plumbing uh we're gonna have a regular pipe look it can just add on to this pipe here wait which pipe is it i want to connect this disconnect that we're trying to get as much water in there as possible so this uh this liquid vent here it is actually supposed to be an output for this steam turbine it's okay that's still going to be able to output but we're going to add on to that from this polluted water vent here this is just the output from our uh, natural gas generator makes some polluted water drops it on the floor we pick it up and normally we tend it for cleaning uh, but we're we're now throwing it in here to be able to cook to cool and we are oh, with three three kilos we need three kilos who's who's gonna come along and do that for me <laughs> i'm gonna full-on red alert because we're about to see the troubles that are um, about to unfold on us in fact this might this might even be a trouble uh, you can see that our auto sweeper here is 174 175 degrees the uh, steam turbines are doing their best to cool this all down but the uh, aluminium volcano is a mere 20 seconds away from erupting uh, i was kind of hoping this whole area would be nice and cool down to about 120 degrees would be lovely it's the minimum the steam turbines can work at but 150 would also have been fine goddard and everybody doing the work here swan leather looks like she's taken a lot of damage we'll have to try and figure out what that's about probably from when we're running in and out of here trying to make this uh, more usable uh, where, where's where's the next person goddard you're on it okay thank you very much we just oh, i pressed the, i pressed the map button that wasn't what i needed i uh, just need to get these last two pieces in place and I will then clear the red alert, let people sleep because we're going to start dumping water in there. Uh, we are, however, now spilling out liquid hot aluminium at a thousand degrees and it's already damaging my auto sweeper. Uh, we can't go above 275 but indeed we are now up to 500. It's a, that's a lot. That Look, here, over here, it's also a lot. It's a, it's a lot, a lot. <laughs> 
And herein lies our plan for today. Try and make it so these don't instantly break. That that would be great if, if we could have that. Uh, so we're going to try and add as much water as we can. Look at that. We've got three uh, kilos, six kilos here. We need to have uh, three kilos down the bottom here. Uh, but I think that's almost definitely done. Let's, uh, let's now chop this and see if the water going into the system is enough. I'm a little bit worried about all the sand that we've just built. It's, it's going to be rather hot and that needs to cool down. I wonder whether I can get duplicates in there to deal with that but uh, Swan Levitt was already looking uh, pretty, pretty beat up. Okay, we've got 1.3 cycles. Let's let this place cool down a bit and hopefully equalize out. We've got four, 4.8 grams, 5 kilos in each area. Hopefully we're not making any more water. Of course, we've got extra water coming in from the natural gas generators. Okay, let's let's try that. Let, let the water flow on. I'm going to want to dig all of that and we're going to want to rip these down. I, I feel like we're probably in trouble doing this, but we're going to try anyway. There's a lot of heat just here and we've got water and petroleum to hold it back so we'll, we'll see how that goes of course we are on uh, Blagolia so nothing wants to get done unless it is marked as an emergency because everybody this is a very streamlined area a very streamlined area uh, and that means nobody nobody's available for extra jobs <laughs> I'm worried about Swan Levitt. I'm really worried about Swan Levitt. Is she going to get incapacitated here, or is that is that going to be a problem? Uh, hopefully, not too much of an issue. We got the main aluminium ripped down. That's fine. Faraday's coming along to do some other jobs here. Someone could do the auto sweeper as well. That would be great. Faraday's on that. Okay, I think we're mostly actually. I don't, I don't know if I want to get the stuff out of there. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. We can get the stuff out via the magic of the conveyor loader. That, that shouldn't be a problem. And hopefully the extra amount of steam that we've got here. I mean, we're already down to 180. That, that, that's nice. Let's get this closed up and hopefully start getting all of the temperature out of here. With these managed to shut down before the next, next eruption, I will call that good. Okay, we've got some scalding Maxwell. Where's Maxwell receiving some scar? I bet he's carrying some hot stuff or something like that. Let's have a look. No, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah. I, I know mm, I know why. I don't know how to deal, though. My number one plan at the moment is just to spill it and let's mop it up as it falls. All right? Ev everybody's dealing with too hot here that that that's fine as long as nobody gets incapacitated i think we will do wonderful curia maxwell doing all the major work a little little bit worrisome there a little bit worrisome but i think we should be fine where's everybody else uh, there, here comes von braun uh, look every everybody's taken a lot of damage i should probably find out what's going on with the hospital situation over here do do we have any we, we have some triage cuts von braun is uh marked down for one we should probably start cycling people through for others wrote um, that th that's just uh, notifications for here that that's fine that's fine let's go back to Blagolia now that that was that was some interesting side mission there but the temperature seems to be dropping nicely okay this this is also good as long as we can start dealing with the aluminium as well uh, we've got a conveyor rail sensor thermo sensor here so anything that's on the rail this sensor detects the temperature of and when it gets down nice and cool will allow out onto the floor and then this conveyor loader should just pick everything up okay that that's that's nice actually i think we're there i think we've done it i mean there's 92 tons of 300 degree stuff here that's going to take a little bit of time to cool down but uh we're, we're, we're getting there we're getting there oh eight kilos in the middle i may have put a little bit too much steam in here but i i think we're okay i think we're not risking an explosion <laughs> Oh, there we go. The pa power of mathematics. I, I knew I needed to get above four. We got it up to eight, <laughs> and it seems to be working fine. That's good. I never thought I'd be needing to use my physics training. Like, ever. <laughs> Okay, I've sat and watched this cycle a couple of times now. We've practically got rid of all of the heat from the uh, the aluminium that spilled out across the floor. You can see it's almost all down to 180 degrees. But what's happening is the sweeper in the middle is picking up from this 100-ton uh, pile of 300-degree stuff we've got over here, spreads it out over the conveyor rail, and this conveyor thermo sensor stops that. Uh, the temperature gets spread out to the steam, mostly gets eaten by this steam 
steam turbine here, in fact, whilst this one is just slowly pouring little bits of liquid on this aluminium, which vaporizes up. We're keeping just above the, uh, the steam turbine's minimum temperature. Uh, and then when the aluminium gets all the way down, we're 180 at the moment. Let's, let's speed up time just a little bit. But when this gets down to 170, you know what? My computer can't handle the three three times acceleration at the moment. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But you can see the aluminium just got down below. It's now going to turn on. Uh, and then it's going to spread out all the heat uh, again. Uh, and we're going to get just a little bit more heat into the steam. That's going to then pack out the aluminium. Uh, sorry, take all the temperature out of the aluminium. Uh, cool it down again with the steam. Uh, yeah, this is a really good really good little cycle the uh, only question i've got is are we taking out of the pile of annual aluminium quicker than the gold volcano is going to be putting down on top of it i'm not entirely certain but i think yeah I i'm feeling good i'm feeling good we'll just we'll just keep an eye on this here uh we've got a 92.2 ton and also i've noticed a small 29 kilogram pile in the background there uh, hopefully we're going to be able to pick up and deal with that mm, i don't know i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens we will definitely see what happens if, uh, an eruption is on its way i'd like i think i'd like to sit here and watch the eruption in fact i'm gonna i'm gonna wait until it does erupt we're just getting to the point where we're unloading this conveyor rail again, and then we're st we're still 40 seconds out of the next eruption. This is good. I I feel like we're we're moving the appropriate stuff. Okay, here we go. Proper eruption is spilling out. We've got some aluminium on the floor. Which one of these is being added to? It's the aluminium block in the background. Why did that turn into a solid block of aluminium? My, my auto sweeper is not going to be able to reach it now. Okay, well, I, I suppose that's fine. Is that now just a block with a buried object behind it? It's pretty hot. It's 400 degrees. Is it going to get my auto sweeper? It, it has got my auto sweeper up to temperature. That is beyond awkward. Let's 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 turn that down. Let's turn that down. Okay, that, that's kind of upset because the tiles down here didn't get hot at all. <laughs> uh, nearly half, nearly half of its health. Wow. Well, obviously that was not ideal, but the problem does not lie in the fact that we do not have enough water in here. The problem lies in the fact that the what the heat was not spreading out fast enough uh i don't entirely know how we're going to deal with it and uh, i've got some ideas uh, my main idea is to use these tiles down here as a bit of a heat dump to try and spread the uh, the heat out afterwards after the fact we're, we're getting too much heat in one spot and then it will slowly spread out and by the time it gets to the auto sweeper it's only spread about halfway through so where i was saying 44 tiles actually it's 22 tiles but even then, it, it's the, the gradient's going to be weird. Yeah, that, that that's not the way we're going to rely on it. I, I am, however, going to come into the utilities, temperature shift plates, and if we have a look, I love these things. You can build them out of just about everything. And I think one of the things that's going to be quite good at resisting aluminium is indeed aluminium. Now, I don't know exactly where I want to put these temperature shift plates. Oh, of course, along comes the... Uh the auto sweeper to make the deliveries okay that's cool uh, i'm not sure exactly where i want to put these temperature shift plates do i just put two down like this and hope that this transfers the temperatures across nice and quickly uh i, I think i think this might be a winner nighttime has been called though so i'm gonna wait for the morning <laughs> okay nice fresh morning let's press zero and get all of this done as quick as possible maybe even come in to uh, repair some of these auto sweepers almost everybody is fully here at least everybody that's coming along to get involved. I don't know if Faraday can actually do any of the jobs, but I noticed that it is mostly Goddard and Swan Levitt that do these things. Why would you stand right on top of stuff? Can we move Swan Levitt? Excuse me. Just, just, just like come down here if you can. Okay, that's that's much better. Uh, just just having them standing right on top of the super super hot thing was probably not the ideal play. Are they going to be able to handle this? This is a real question. Is, is this going to be got done before? time is up. I've just noticed I've also got the aluminium volcano. There's no, there's no need for that to be done. Swan Levitt taking some serious, serious hits here but I think this is gonna get done. I, I hope so anyway. Might be a two jobber. Might be a, a, a double entry here. Uh, but what happens? Oh no, we, we can't we can't 
get them both on the same job, unfortunately. Uh, okay, I, I'm feeling uncomfortable about how low down their healths are. So on leather, please, please get out. Please get out. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we've had someone fall. Okay, I think I think we can live with that though. I think we can live, or not. Or maybe not. Okay, we'll, we'll see how this goes. We've got two incapacitated. We're now basically hoping that our liquid lock can hold. That's not ideal. Okay, they went for the smallest stay in bed, and then I think they're okay. Swan Levitt thankfully didn't go into the super hot steam to make this happen. Uh, we're just, we're just going to close this back up until they've both had a little little bit of bed rest. Yeah, I think, I think we'll come back in half a cycle or so. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do this properly. I'm clearing way for an exosuit forge. Let, let's stop sacrificing dupes to, to the name of big inverted commas convenience because let, let's be honest, putting them in the hospital all the time, it's not that convenient. <laughs> okay, with the exosuit still being made, we've not been able to get the aluminium temperature shift plates in there yet. We're making more aluminium as we speak and I'm hoping the fact the majority of the heat is going straight into this is going to save our auto sweeper this may or may not be the case we're about to find out we're still getting more aluminium though and that that makes me worried because we're all the way up to 170 180 200 yeah no, no, we're, we're definitely gonna top out here that that's that's a shame we get, we're getting close to being able to do it we're definitely getting close to being able to do it oh we might we might have made it we might have made it. Okay, that's nice. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Okay, we're gonna try something that I think is a good play. We're gonna give this to Swan Levitt, and then we're gonna give the other one to Goddard. I just had to make sure who we got. We really should put Goddard back in a, rest in a, in a rocket at some point. It, it seems like his true calling. Uh, but if we then get these two into their exosuits, we can then bust through the side and, and get these done. Uh, they're, they're not going to be able to breathe. We don't have a dock, so we're not able to put the oxygen in there. But I I think they're tough. They can handle it. They can handle it. <laughs> or, or, or night time. They could, they could get some food, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, they seem to be stuck in some sort of weird loop. I opened this up to see when they're going to be able to go put their suits on. Look, look, they're just, they're just stuck in a weird little loop. Also, first one, Levitt up here. If I close that, do they get to sleep? Okay, weird. What a weird interaction. So let's make the suits a super high priority. Are they going to go get them? They don't go get them. That's interesting. I think the suit like objective i think where the the where the suit the objective might might be busted a little bit i don't i don't know if that's a thing that can even happen but it looks like it is happening what if we walk swan levitt over here and, and also goddard what happens if you walk over here do you, do you reckon we can can like force them into it i sure hope so oh look ruben's using an atmos suit somewhere that's that's interesting the fact that we can watch them all through this through this system no okay they will not pick it up like that hmm this, this has definitely worked in the past <laughs> but he will stop to battle a dense puff okay goddard well well done mate well done all you need to do is put the suit on it's just okay what happens if we don't put the suit on we don't have long point point two of a cycle i really like that that's that's good enough right they can get in there and, and do the things that need the doing surely surely i sure hope so anyway yeah there's just a tiny little bit done there uh goddard should be pretty quick at making that happen and then there's a fair amount left on the other one but we'll see what happens instantly condensed a whole bunch of the steam into water swan leather having a little bit of trouble 82 seconds to get it done though let's see if we can get this finished let's put the uh, the orders to get the uh, get the, the, the wall sealed back in underway and then hopefully ah oh, Swan Levitt no I mean yeah okay uh, got got our go 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 you've got 65 seconds hopefully you can make this work I was kind of hoping that the atmospheric suits would be delivered uh, let's then do that and is this good enough God could you just take one step up that that would be pretty pretty cool of you if you could. Uh, okay, you, you drown while you're doing that. I don't, I don't mind. Oh, I don't mind. But we got the temperature shifts plates in place now. It's going to take about 40 seconds for the eruption. I think I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be fine. Okay, that's good. 
The steam is down to a measly 110. Okay, even the the tiles has dropped down there. The uh, aluminium, not not quite so low. Always seems to be just before an eruption is when we cycle out for some of the hotter stuff. That That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, 10 seconds to go. Uh, can we speed that up just a little bit? 10 seconds could be quite a long time after all. Combat, I'm sure it's just a dense puff. Yeah, no, no worries. Faraday beating up something that's escaped from the, the, the little um, stables up there. 43 tons of aluminium. Any more being made? We're supposed to be erupting. Aluminium is being emitted. Oh, it is going straight into the refined metal pile here. 0.2 tons now rather than 0.1. But more importantly, what's happening to the temperature up here? It's getting pretty hot. It's getting pretty toasty. Maybe a little bit too toasty. 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. We, we're trying to avoid 270 if we can. 250, 260. I don't like it. I don't like it. If anything, this has made it a little bit worse. 270. We're up into overheat temperatures now. Uh, th yeah, this this is not what I want. Oh, the temperature's coming down and up. It can't decide whether it's actually overheating or not. We're at 280 just about able to hold on i don't know whether we're actually taking damage or not yeah there we go there's, there's the actual damage marker okay can i just turn that down because we're, we're all right with that 240 it says it's done erupting oh man do i just need to dump another ton of water in here is that is that it it, it really only just pushed up and over hmm I don't know who's got the skills, but it's tempting to use the conveyor rails for extra thermal mass, something like this. Uh, they're, they're probably going to melt in the face of the actual volcano, but if we just do this, that, that should work out pretty well for us if we can get people in there to deal with it. I think that shouldn't be a problem now, though. Okay, that's all the conveyor rails down. Uh, let's put another one in its place. Get those built. Uh, hopefully, this is just just more thermal mass. Like I say, it's just a bunch of extra stuff there to hold the temperature. Yeah, th this should work out, right? This should this should work out really well. It is unfortunately raising the temperature of our auto sweeper, but that's also coming down pretty fast as well. I think I think we should be fine, right? Whilst we watch this system shuffle around hot material, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the hottest material I know. That's right, my Patreons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that go along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy to make sure that me and my channel can continue on as comfortably as possible into the future. I really, really enjoy everything that I do here, and without the support of every single name that you see rolling up the screen right here, this would not be possible in the slightest. So really, from the very, very bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Okay, let's see if we can do something about the cooling of this uh, aluminium that's coming out of here. You can see that it's coming out about 170. That's pretty hot. Uh, I'd like to make a, an aluminium tile right under here. And I think what we're going to do is try and run the cooling line around. If I uh, jump this over... Oh, do we need to jump here? I don't think we're going to be adding any more water. And if we are, we can make decisions to jump over this bit instead. So we could, we could just go straight down here. Uh, then as we go to radiant pipe switch past here cool down the blob of material and the, uh, the the metal pipe liquid bridge over and back onto the cooling line i'd also like to get this bottle emptier let's move that and um let deconstruct the ladder and move the bottle emptier up to here somehow uh, yeah, unfortunately, that is the only place we could put it uh, and drop a little bit of petroleum on there. I think just a little bit. We, we should have some more petroleum around somewhere. We, we might need to mop some. We might need to mop some, but we, we, we can deal with it. Okay, we haven't quite got everything in place that I wanted to, but we are instantly taking the temperature of the metal tile down. That's also taking the temperature... Oh, the t raising the temperature of the water. Okay, that, that's fine. Hopefully we don't flash to steam there. 
Looks like that might be uh, a thing that could happen. Yeah, we're, we're, we're still climbing there. That's unfortunate. The uh, the water going through is very much taking the temperature out, though. It's going through at 24, coming out at 30. Uh, that That's that's handleable. It would have been nice to only go up maybe two degrees rather than uh, three or four. And uh, we're now overheating inside again. That That's unfortunate that this didn't work for us. It was just the smallest amount of time as well. I, I honestly think it's the size of this um, aluminium blob here. Thankfully, we've, got, we've gone down two tons since I've been looking. I think putting the extra bulk here didn't just provide extra thermal capacity it's it's also got through this lump quicker that's good because i really as i say really do think having this huge amount of very hot materials here is one of the problems that we've got okay here we go a little bit of petroleum i don't even know how much i want to drop because i'm worried about the temperature being just a little too much for stuff around here so you can see we've already flashed that into steam can we just drop the whole 200 is that something i'm going to do uh bottle emptier one a let's let's drop 100 and see if that's fine um somewhere about now that, that that's about 100 uh oh only a few grams ended up in its place but it is allowing a much faster temperature shift with a lot of the environment uh, all that's really happening are things are coming up to oh no no the gold is going down the steel is going down everything is actually dropping temperature okay that that's good hopefully the aluminium is also going down uh, it does mean the conveyor chute is climbing in temperature uh, as is the radiant liquid pipe but I think we're gonna I think we're gonna have eventually some nice cool metal back here okay that's interesting we're still losing temperature in the aluminium despite the fact that we're gaining hot mass uh, we're gaining 170 degree aluminium on top of this we've gone from 9.8 8 to 10.3 uh, and the temperatures continue to go down it did start going up uh, almost immediately but that 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 settled out very very quickly and dropped back down yeah this, this is good this is good we've got a handleable system here and actually we're gonna have some some aluminium that can actually be handled by the end of it that's 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 awesome hmm, again it's just emptying out as the volcano is getting ready to go meaning that we're gonna have some very very hot material materials right underneath my auto sweeper as it as it erupts i wonder if there's a way i could stop that like some sort of cycle sensor but at the same time the its activation period is a bit weird so i i don't know there the aluminium on the outside we're down to 130 we're coming down from 150 so that is pretty good the gold is almost bottomed out at 100 I, ideally we're going down to, uh, to, to just above 30 degrees, just above 20 degrees, ideally. Ideally, at uh, any livable temperature for our duplicates. Uh, 16 seconds to go on the eruption. Let's hit the double fast here. Uh, we've got tiles down below that are bottomed out at 120, 130, something like that. Uh, the aluminium is gaining heat. The uh, auto sweeper, unfortunately, also gaining a fair amount of heat. Only up to 100 170 though as long as we can avoid the 200 and uh, it's 275 i believe can we just select that auto sweeper uh, and then we get its temperature here to 220 220 230 yeah that that might very well just spike up above again 250 and starting to cool down again no, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not feeling it. I feel like we might, yeah, very much be starting to do a little bit of damage. If I move my mouse away and see if the health bar drops down at all, uh, I would like to know if there's like a HP or a percentage. Or yeah, no, there we go. That was that was actual overheat damage there. That that's unfortunate. Okay, I've got a new plan. Behind this ladder, I've put an extra temperature shift plate and we're slowly getting more obsidian. I did dig my way in through here, but as you can see, everybody's taken quite a bit of a beating from that. So I'm gonna deconstruct this little tile here and we're gonna see if we can't corner build our way in. Uh, I'm putting up a whole bunch, a whole bunch of obsidian tiles down below, trying to give the, just more thermal mass, just more thermal mass. Whilst the steam is great, uh, it's got like 10 kilos of steam and actually i think 
I think we're now good enough. We've got enough thermal mass and stuff that I don't think the auto sweep is going to get that hot that quickly. But the steam is great, but the tiles are greater. Even though the, the tiles have only got a specific heat capacity of 0.2, there's 200 kilos here as opposed to the 10 kilos. So even though the water is like four times better, ten, ten, uh, 20 times better, there's more than 20 times the, the tile here. So that should be good. Uh, of course, we're gonna have to break through. Go, go, go. Hopefully we can get all of this done. If I just do it like that, uh, we should be able to get it all done within the 0.4 cycles before the aluminium volcano erupts uh, we'll close this back up and then watch this erupt and then we'll be done for today whether whether this works or not we will be done for today I, I, this should but this should be fine we've got so much mass in here now there is no way this wouldn't work i'm really impressed with the way that we're cooling the aluminium down as well oh it's, it is going up just a little bit but we seem to be holding pretty steady at about 100 degrees we've even cooled the water back down back down into a uh, liquid condensed it. That's the word I was looking for. We condensed it back down into a uh, liquid there, so that should be fine. Just get this last tile uh, put into place and everything should work out beautifully for us. Swan Levitt doing most of the work. Swan Levitt, unfortunately, also took a face full of steam when we were putting down these tiles. Uh, we're we're going to have to think about getting a proper hospital formed here at some point. Mm, yeah, at some point. The problem is the healing is just so fast, so fast anyway. Let's see if we can find it. 75 health per cycle, even if my duplicate is dead. One and a half cycles later, they're fully healed. So uh, I, I don't know. Going, going ahead and making the full hospital just doesn't seem worth it. Just doesn't seem worth it. I'm going to try lowering the temperature on this thermo sensor over here. Let's try and keep the aluminium around just a little bit longer. Hopefully, this will bring the uh, the combined temperature down. The aluminium in the conveyor rail at the moment has a temperature of 220, and of course, our sweeper will overheat at 270. So what? Well, 275 but i like to have a little bit of a buffer there we're currently spewing out 12 kilograms of aluminium every second the auto sweeper temperature is going up i'm hoping i'm hoping we've really got enough mass down here now they'll all just dissipate out and we won't have any problems waiting for that volcano to stop admitting emitting the uh the the hot gases at the moment the hot liquids at the moment uh we're auto sweeper is up to 130 degrees that is not ideal, but we start, we're, not, we're not jumping up so fast. We're not jumping up so fast. 160, 180 is a damage overheat, uh, but we did go back down. Okay, so we're still we're still right on the very edge. We're right on the very edge of being capable. Are we still emitting? No, we're done. We're we're done, and I think. We've managed to keep this. Yeah, no, this is the, this is it. We did it. We did a whole cycle without overheating. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we're going to get on with things that aren't just trying to make sure that the metals do flow. We've got a whole bunch of lava up here, magma that we need to try and condense down into the machine. Pyaxin actually doing okay. Could probably do with a little bit of cooling around. I'd really like to get the hatches down the bottom to eat all the igneous rock that we are coming out of here. Blagolia, of course, we've just been doing some work over here, and Iragao waiting. Well, we've moved the bees. Look, I, I moved the bees in the background. This was going on whilst uh, all of the other stuff was happening over on Blagolia, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.